Answers to Life in Poetry by Warren Brown Poetry reading and writing has always been of great interest to many over the years, the decades, and the centuries. Poetry has been respected as a literary art all over the world, in all cultures, heritages, and languages. Poetry has undergone great transformations over the years. The poets of today stand tall on the shoulders of those great poets like, William Shakespeare, William Wordsworth, Henry W. Longfellow, Emily Dickinson, William Blake, Wilfred Owen, and Shelley, whose poems and writings are immortal and have an impact in shaping the destiny of mankind. Poets create their poems using their life experiences. At times of sadness, joy, peace, love, and tranquility a poet creates his or her best work. When a person's deepest and innermost feelings are put into words, they become poems. A poem is not just a rhyme in stanzas or a collection of blank verses which convey the mind and heart of the poet. A poem is a reflection of the deepest feelings and emotions of a poet. The poems written and collected over the centuries are a testament to the spirit and the soul of mankind. In order to truly understand your life and to find all the answers you seek in your life, read the works of some of the greatest poets who have lived. Life is poetry in words and to understand life we need to understand the power of poetry in our lives. Poems are the language of our hearts. When we discover the music in poetry, we also reveal the mystery and the magic of what makes us human. Poetry is the song of the soul of humanity. To truly understand the magic, mystery and power of poetry, you need to read the works of the master poets and then get down to writing your own poetry. Poetry must come from the heart. Poems are a revelation of the soul. The truth of who you are and the answers to all that you seek in life are in the poems which you write from the deepest feelings in your heart. Share your poems with the world and make the soul of humanity so much richer today. The Legend of the Robbing Hood by Warren Brown Where is the hood? Where is the hood? Where is that thieving Robin Hood? Down in the lush green glen with his stolen treasures, and his band of merry men, Little John and Friar Tuck, are helping Robin divide his loot, with the poor of the village, making him a legend of repute. Where is the Sheriff of Nottingham, in an emptied room of treasures, feeling like a fattened rat, about to be eaten by a hungry cat, Robin and his merry men, flee into the night, into the forests of Sherwood, into the kingdom of the Robbing Hood. Where is the lovely maid Marion? She is in the arms of Robin Hood. Helping him in his mission. To steal from the sheriff without his permission. The Right Advice by Warren Brown When you look for advice. It is sometimes very hard to find. When you ask the right person. You can find the right advice. But, knowing life with all its unusual elements. We usually get the wrong advice. From the wrong person in life. If you search for advice. Ask yourself this. You need the right advice. At a reasonable price. Find a good and sensible person. With the right intentions in life. Then select this person to guide you. To find your mission in this life. The Poetics of Jealousy by Warren Brown. Is jealousy good? Does jealousy harm one and heal another? It is not good to be jealous of another's overwhelming success. It is not good to be jealous of another's fame and grand fortune. It is not good to be jealous of another's poverty of the soul. It is not good to be subdued by jealousy of another's lack of fame and fortune. It is not good to be filled with jealousy of another's peace of mind and happiness. It is not good to be burdened with jealousy of another's joy, love, and tranquility. It is not good to be jealous of those who are free of jealousy. Feeding the Flames of Love and Romance By Warren Brown Every ember smolders in the fire. Every flame enriches the fire. Every passion fuels the flame. Every minute feeds the fire. Satisfy the flame in the fire. Satisfy the passions of the flames. Fulfill the fires of your passion. 
Fulfill the fires of your romance. Fulfill the fires of your love. Feed the fires of undying love. Feed the fires of the eternal passions. Feed the fires of smoldering love. Feed the flames of all engulfing passions. Quench the thirst of your undying love. Quench the hunger of smoldering passions. Quench the fires of love and romance. For now and always. Feed the fire of love and romance. An invitation to life by Warren Brown. You are cordially invited. To take charge of your life. To take charge of your destiny. To take charge of your special moments. To take charge of your life energy. You are receiving this life invitation. On behalf of your positive self. On behalf of your ambitious self. On behalf of your full potential. Kindly accept this life invitation. On behalf of your positive self. On behalf of your ambitious self. On behalf of your full potential. Celebrate your life invitation. By growing more positive every day. By growing more ambitious every day. By fulfilling your potential every day. You are receiving this invitation. To make your life better. To make the lives of others better. To make your home a better place. To make our world a better place. Your response is requested. To the invitation of life. Begin today. Invite a friend tomorrow, to celebrate life. Invite the people of the world tomorrow. To make a positive invitation. And a worthwhile contribution to life.